Hello everybody, it's Sha Marie. I have my show and tell for my November Bargain Bead Box, the Cozy Chrysanthemum Collection. Um, please excuse the messy background here. <laughs> trying to find a clear spot to shoot this and the light was just coming through the window so badly and it was creating so much glare, but I'll try my best to zoom in on each piece so that you can actually see them. This necklace I made using those red crystals that we received and I had some 8 millimeter, 18 karat gold plated um, balls that I had, had left over from a uh, special order that I had, I had made for somebody. I had some of them left over so I just sectioned off the red crystals and added those gold balls to it. Kept it kind of simple and elegant. I took the, what they were calling the chrysanthemum wire piece, and I just wired on some green four millimeter bicones and one of the red, I think the red one I put in the center of this might have been something I had in my own stash now that I'm looking at it because it's a different shade of red. And I wired that on to it as well. Um, I thought it just kind of, to me, it, it looked more like a poinsettia, which, I mean, this does not represent a poinsettia, but it just gave it some color and broke it up a little bit. I did take two of the red crystals here and just those wreath um, uh, connectors that we received. I took two of those and I just made a simple pair of earrings to go with it. And looking at my form there, I should have cleaned it first, evidently. Uh, my cat has been on it. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> Life with a cat. <laughs> These earrings, I just chained, you know, just did links of chain and two of those little half mat um, crystals that we got. Again, some of the red beads, they don't show up very well on this red form, unfortunately two of the more deeper red mukite and just made a really simple pair of dangle earrings with them and i picked out all the lavender because i had a lot of purple and lavender in my mukite so i picked out the purpley and lavender pieces made these um again another just simple strong pair of earrings using some of the chain i also took a three to one connector. I did this one in a video. Um, it is on my on my channel and made a three strand necklace with it. I really love this necklace. I actually wore this one at Christmas. It's really pretty. Unfortunately the light is still creating a glare. I can't get a good shot but this right here is a more this is more um, true to color right here in this shot. But I took that other chrysanthemum piece and this one I did try to more or less replicate a poinsettia and I put a pin on the back of it so this one is actually a brooch and again I just wired you can see the wire at the points I wired by um, formula beta bicones onto it and gave it that little berry cluster in the middle and I guess probably I should have done like a yellow berry cluster because I think poinsettias actually are a little more yellow in the middle uh, I don't know I like it I think it came out really pretty and I wore that on my jacket at Christmas as well so I like that one this set I did I took some uh, gold square forms that I had and just wire wrapped those little um, charms I guess we'd call them charms into it uh, hung a jump ring from it took some of the um, yellow agate beads a little yellow agate beads and I the uh, what is that what I'm trying to think of <laughs> the coral there we go the fossil coral beads <laughs> and just kind of strung that one up and I really love that piece of coral right there on the 
be your right side of the screen. You can see like a little burst in it. It is so pretty. I love for um, fossil coral. I think it's just amazing stuff. It's so gorgeous. But So anyway, the necklace is these lavender bicones go all the way around the back. And when it comes down, and this is where it clasps here in the front. And then I just took my um, my pretty little mukite piece. It has a little bit of lavender to it in the corner there. So I thought the yellow and the lavender beads worked really well with this. I made this little set. I did also make a bracelet. I used the magnetic clasp. And I mixed the mukite and the uh, fossil coral and again the little yeah, agate beads and I just wired a bracelet on I wired around a piece of memory wire to make that one I, I love that fossil coral that is so pretty gosh like look at that piece right there isn't that not gorgeous so pretty and then I just made four pairs of earrings beyond that this pair here I just wired again around one of those wire frames that I had I had bought a package of oval well this like teardrop shape circle and square at Amazon I think it was Amazon again get here um, and yeah and I didn't get them quite the same as you can tell that one's a little tighter than this one is so I'll probably have to go back and tighten that one up a little bit more still very pretty so these ones I just made again they're very similar to a pair I had made this spring using those lucite flower pendant drops I'm trying to get a better shot of the light <laughs> it's very hard here either I've got too much glare or I haven't got enough I think I could have made my stamens a little shorter they're kind of long but they're really cute very whimsical my granddaughter likes them so she'll probably end up with them this pair in the back here, let me pull that pair out. I took one of those three to one connectors. I cut the connector piece off the top, the one off the top of it, glued it to um, an ear post, and just hung three pieces down it. I'll try to get it off here and show you it. So that's what it looks like from the side. And I just sanded the top down with, the, with an emery board and made a really cute little pair of earrings out of it. So I think they came out really nice. And then my last pair of earrings, I didn't make a lot with this set. I mean, I did, but compared to a lot of other ones, probably not as much. But these ones I just use this, use some twisted um, two beads and then again the crystals and the red beads from the set. And it was a pretty, pretty simple pair of little earrings to make all in all. So that is the whole collection this month. And I don't think it's a lot. I really don't think I made a lot this month. I do have a lot of beads left. Let's show you what I've got left. So I do have quite a few beads left. I could probably make something else. It was just getting to the point with that, with the, what I have left for beads, the colors were becoming very repetitive. And I don't know, I was just getting to the point where I just didn't want to put more purple and yellow and orange -y colors together. And I don't know, I, I may still end up using it for something. I don't know, I'm, I could make another piece, but yeah, it was just it was just getting a little too repetitive. I I think I made enough with it that I'm pretty happy with it because you know overall I've got what three pairs of uh, three necklaces. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of earrings, a pin, and a bracelet. So that's not too bad. That's a pretty good amount, I think. And 
yeah I think they come out really pretty I love this one right here this is probably my favorite set don't mind my junk in the background <laughs> boxes of odds and ends <laughs> I do love this set though I think this is probably my favorite but I'm also very very fond of lavender and it's hard to imagine lavender and yellow looking so good together but it really really does came out very pretty I think I do love this necklace I do have to say I did have the magnetic clasp on this necklace it was a little too heavy for it and it did come off on me so I did have to change it to a lobster claw clasp but yeah another get a little closer for y'all give you a good close-up of them close up of all my cat here. <laughs> I love these little earrings. I think these are so adorable. I do love those ones in the back. I, like I said, I do need to tighten them a little bit, but and these two as well. I don't really care for these dark um, display stands. It makes it very hard to see what's on them when, you know, when the, when the items are dark as well. It makes it really hard for them to stand out against it. Move them over here into my light a little bit more and see if it makes much of a difference. Oh, yeah, it's a little better. So, yeah. Not bad. Very pretty set. I do love this necklace that's on the red form as well, the three strand. Again, that was the one that was in my tutorial. So, yeah, tell me what you think. Do you like it? What pieces are, are your favorite in this? You know, um, again, this is thinking outside the box a little bit, taking that three to one connector and turning it into a pair of earrings, which, you know, so hopefully uh, it'll inspire somebody to try that. Even a two to one connector, you can, you know, cut it down and try something new with it. So again, this is the Bark and Bead box. This was November, 2023. Um, Cozy Chrysanthemum is the name of this one and I hope you all enjoyed what I showed you hope I inspired you I do have a coupon code if you have not joined the bargain bead box yet and would like to give it a try it is char2 which you see on the screen here char2 will get you two dollars off your first month's subscription or if you don't want to subscribe but you just want to shop in the sister store which is bargain bead box they already have incredibly low prices, but you can get $2 off your first order through there if you'd rather do that. But again, the SHAR2 code for your bargain bead box um, will open you up to the opportunity to shop in the sister store anytime you want and get 30% off. So it's a great deal. It's a super good deal. The bargain bead box is $20.99. Uh, the value of what we get is always, always above $65, always. Um, this set here, as you saw, it has muakite. Muakite is a beautiful gemstone. It has that gorgeous fossil coral. Um, you can't get fossil coral, you know, just anywhere. I mean, I mean, you can, <laughs> but you're not going to get a great value on it just anywhere. So, you know, so think about it. You know, if you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. If you don't like it, unsubscribe, you know, you're not, you're not committed to anything, you know? 
So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we'll see you next time. And have a great day.